Today, I wanna to talk about why this might be the wrong way on how to comment out multiple lines of code in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So how do we comment out multiple lines of code in Python? Well, I started this video saying that the multi-line string might not be the best way to do it. And there's a reason to that. But let's kind of go in here and evaluate. If I go and say print um, add, and I just wanna say, like, let's just print out you know, five plus, four plus five. Um, if I go ahead and run this, so let's open up a terminal, and let's say um, Python, how to comment out multiple lines code in Python. I run that, it's gonna give me nine, right? Because I said print out, you know, 80 dashes now, and then print out the, whatever the, the return value is of uh, my add function. If I go ahead and I do the multi-line string output, so uh, because this has a doc string, um, which we're gonna get into that a little bit, but because this has a doc string of double quotes, then we need to we use the multi-line comment um, if we wanna comment this whole thing out of the single multi version of the multi-line comment, so or, or uh, multi-line string. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and that's gonna give me um, those put into a string literal. Now, what this is, let's talk about this. So if I were to go ahead and rerun this, I'm gonna get an error in my function because it says, hey, name add has not been defined. And that's true. We have technically commented out the add function. Like there is, like we've converted this whole set of code into a what is a string literal. Now, because I am not doing something like A is equal to this, no one will ever see or be able to use this string literal, right? Well, let me show you something. So if I go ahead and comment this out and I say print out um, the doc string of this file. So like I just showed here, there's a doc string um, within this add function. Technically the doc string is going to be the multi-line comment um, or multi-line string that is the, fir that is the, the first line under um, a function or at the top of the file. Now that is what I'm talking about is it has to be executable. Like, there should be no executable code between like the top of the file and your multi-line string and or the top of the function definition and the, uh, you know, and, and the string. So like if I were to put this val, so let's just actually, let's go in here and do this real quick because that'll make, this will make it a little bit more sense. So if I take this off and what I'm saying is basically if I stuck this, if I go ahead and print out a um, add, oops, let's uncomment this and let's say, let's print out the add dot doc string, which you can do by just doing like, you give your function and then do dash, you know, double score, uh, double uh, underscore dashes, and then doc, and then underscore again. You print this out. What this will do is this will print out in my terminal. Um, you will see that it, look exactly what I wrote here is getting printed there. So it's adding floats, the args, and the return values, right? So that's the doc string. Now, if I were to go and move this line of code, the executable executing line of code in between the function definition line and the doc string line, what you'll see is my IDE, VS Code, already throws an, a warning saying, hey, this string statement has no effect. It's basically been turned now into a string literal, meaning it's just a string, and since we aren't assigning anything to it, it's not gonna be used. So if I run this again, what you'll see is I get none. None is the output of the doc string. So going back to what we talked about, and I will put all this stuff back, and then going back to what I'm saying here is if there is no executable code in between the top of the line, or for functions, between the top of the function line and the you know the multi-line um, string, it acts as a doc string. The same goes with the top of a file and a multi-line string. So watch this. If we go ahead and put back our um, triple um, multi-line or single quote um, string, and I run this again, um, you'll see I will get another error because because it says, hey, add is not defined. We've essentially commented it out. If I take this away, and now I replace this with print underscore underscore doc. This will do it for the file. This will print out the doc string for the file. You will see what it prints out. And lo and behold, look what, let me pull this up. Look what it pulls up. It put our commented out code, commented out code as the doc string for this file. And that's because there is no executable code in between them. So now here's the magic. If I go and do something like, um, let's say five plus four, or four, or four plus four, because I obviously can't type what I'm saying. This has no effect, right? This is saying, now this has been turned into VS Code as saying, hey, this isn't a doc string anymore. So this string statement has no effect. It's now string literal, which is our commented code. And it's also Yami saying that this statement seems to has no effect because I'm not a 
assigning it to anything. I'm not doing anything with it. If I go ahead and rerun this again, again, keep in mind, I'm printing out characters, this line, and then I'm printing out the file doc string. If I go ahead and run this. Therein lies that there is it, there is no doc string. We haven't added a doc string. And this is technically now um, what I would say is commented out code. Now, like I'm not, I don't want to argue with you know the creator of Python because he even one time tweeted tweeted out that multi-line comments can be used as uh or uh, multi-line strings can be used as multi or to use to help comment out multiple lines of code unless he and he put unless they fit in the doc string for the file or kind of for the function. So I'm all for using the multi-line um, string to help you comment out code because sometimes it's you know nice and easy to do. Um, however, depending on you need to be very careful, I think, on where you do this. So I'm not saying I'm not against it. I'm just saying when you, if you do use it, be careful of where you do it because um, it may have unintended consequences. You may put in, you may have it create a doc string that you don't want, you know, all this garbly gook of code that you're trying to common out as you're testing or doing something to end up in your doc string uh, function, right? So again, just be careful where you do it. Um, but now here is how I kind of comment out multiple lines of code. Also, because I use a, a visual, uh, a an IDE or an editor such as VS Code all the time, and they actually kind of help me make it easy. All right, so the way that I comment out code in Python or multiple lines of code in Python is, and this is, I believe, the PEP8 style and the recommended PEP8 fo uh, format for doing it, is essentially by, if I take away these multi-line comment, like again, depending where you put that, that could make it a doc string or not. But the recommended way is from PEP8 style is that you basically go and you take the comment symbol, which this is the official comment symbol. And you do this, unfortunately, for every single line of code that you want commented out. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Zach, that's lame because I could essentially just come back here and comment or select all this code and then do my, you know, depending on what string you need to use um, I could turn it into that and that's and that's a comment true um, that that's true you could do that and it's probably less you know less hassle but the nice thing is is when you use something such as an IDE like um, VS code or Atom or any of these other things that are out there um, you can actually just highlight the code like this just like I did before and then like on a Mac what you can do is you can hit uh, command and then forward slash which is over here by the the shift on the, the right hand side and just like that, VS Code does it all for you. It selected all those lines and made a comment for you. Now, you have to double check with your ID because all IDEs have a different, say, combination um, that does the comment out feature um, for that, you know, for in general or for that specific language or whatever. So just double check. But in most case for VS Code, if you're using that, um, it's just a command and then forward slash on a Mac. Now I believe on Windows, it's like control or, or uh, the Windows button and then forward slash. Um, and then I think that's the same with Linux. I think it just depends on your the keyboard that you're using. Um, but essentially, that is probably the easiest way to do it is just highlight the code that you want and then hit command and then forward slash. If you if it's already commented and you hit it again, it'll uncomment it, which is nice. Um, but the recommended PEP8 style is just a the command symbol, which is again the the hashtag, and then do that for every single line that you want done. Um, so working with IDs is great because they have some of these built-in things to help us do that. If you're working just like in an, in a you know text file or if you're doing it through the command line, um, that's that's how you have to go do it. Which I think is why sometimes people go and you know they do these multiple line things is because they don't want to have to worry about it, especially if they're doing stuff via the command line. Um, and there's not maybe those short but even with command line tools, there's ways to do it. So again, I don't, um, I don't say don't do the, that multi-line or multi-line string to do it. It's just again, depending on where you place it, it could make your commented out code part of the doc string, which then could be available to other people, um, and 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 they could find it and they could see it, and and we don't want that, right? So um, I would go with the recommended way, which is just highlight all your code and then hit if you're an ID, hit the the command forward slash, it'll comment it out for you or basically go line by line and put, you know, that hashtag. So that's how you comment out a multi, that's how you comment out multiple lines of code in Python. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if, and I do have a Google form that you can go fill out where basically if you have any questions, specific questions you want answered, or you have project ideas that you want to, you know, see, see, build, see build on this channel. Um, I'd love to hear about them. I'd love to do them. Um, and that's just one way to help me keep track of all the requests that come in. So that way that we can build and answer questions together. So 
without further ado, I hope you've had a hope this helps. If it does, um, hit the like button. And until next time, keep on programming.